Hello and welcome to a not exactly episode episode of the Brain Cancer Podcast. I had mentioned before that I wanted to record on the same days that I have treatment and despite it being 10:30 at night I still was determined to get this done and it's just been a very long few days. So on Wednesday, my uh, charging port on my phone just decided to stop working. So I had planned on getting a new phone for a while now, but I was kind of forced into it. So I haven't had my phone for only two days. And it was actually kind of fine because it just meant that I only could focus on myself. And it was actually kind of a nice break. I ended up buying a phone on Amazon that had good reviews and is a very reasonably priced phone for what you're getting. I was happy with that because I left the house today at like 8.30 in the morning and had my first appointment, my blood work, at 9.30. And it's still the same as it was last time. You have to check in downstairs they only have one entrance open and then you go up to the ninth floor where i go and then you have to do it again and then you have to go down to the the eighth floor that's where the uh, chemo and infusion ward is so you're constantly being asked like the same questions over and over but my doctor's appointment went well My MRI is on the 17th of this month, and I have to be back for treatment on July 1st, which is a Wednesday. Although I'm normally there on Fridays, the clinic is closed on July the 3rd because of the holiday, even though Boston is not doing any sort of July 4th celebrations as they usually do. So after I get out of my appointment with uh, my doctor, we were chatting for a little bit and she was just telling me about how things have been with her and, you know, we always kind of just get caught up at the same time as we're doing the appointment because I'm pretty much in and out and I'm very lucky to be in that situation. And then I went downstairs to the eighth floor to check in for my infusion. And it was 1130 when I got seated. It was about one o'clock when my meds finally came up from the pharmacy, which is to be expected. And I fell asleep anyways for over an hour. So it really wasn't that bad. Even though those chairs are not the most comfortable, I can still fall asleep and get some rest. But then I ended up leaving there and came home and checked the Amazon tracking and my package was saying that it had already been delivered and there was nothing outside of my door. So I went on Amazon and they were like, just give it a little bit. And it was still early, although I was I was confused because there was an Amazon package, but not for me on the porch. But it was a little bit after four o'clock by by the time I got home, because I had I had to stop at Target to get some peanut butter and some bananas and my usual smoothie things. So I get off at the stop and go to Target and then just walk up the, the hill to my place. But then about five o'clock, the package did arrive and I've barely gotten to rest at all. I came home and I did jump in the shower really quickly just to get that hospital feeling off of me but as soon as I saw the uh, package was there with my phone I had to get that opened up switch the sim card in I was lucky that it actually arrived a day early because it wasn't supposed to be here until tomorrow so when I got up this morning and I saw that it was already down a couple towns at seven in the morning I knew that it would be out today so I was hoping be here when I got back but I just I had to wait like a little bit so I immediately set up the my phone, and I'm going to have to root it and do all sorts of other things that I always do with my phone so that I can have total control over the uh, the way that it works and that it's not wasting batteries and that I don't see any ads on YouTube and all that stuff. I think I enjoy tinkering with uh, phones more than I do actually using them. I just like to try out different variations and... I'm excited to try this one, and it has, 
I've never seen a phone with a pop-up selfie camera. I didn't even know that it had one, but when you hit the, the button in the camera app, it just raises up this little camera in front of you, and I, I've never seen a phone that does that, so that surprised me. But that's going to be on the agenda for tomorrow, along with just resting up, because it's almost 11 o'clock, and I'm pretty tired, so I'm probably just going to edit this episode quickly, and I'll try and get it up for Saturday or Sunday, depending on how I feel. But I wanted to make sure that I recorded tonight, because I think that's a good goal, and I know I don't have a lot of energy, but I think it's good to to kind of show that it's fine to not have energy, and the trial drug that I'm on just it's quite fatiguing, and especially when you're at the hospital all day anyways. And I had to get up at like 6.30 in the morning. Actually, it was it was closer to 7 because I was I went to bed early, and I was up early, and that's how I saw that the, the, the phone would be here, hopefully, on time. But thank you all for listening. I know that this is just not an episode, and it's just me sort of venting and getting my thoughts and my ideas out there from today. So I appreciate you all listening. I will try and get an actual episode done within the next couple days. I haven't settled on an exact topic, but I'll figure something out. I really want to do a series on pediatrics, so I'll probably start there. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash braincancerpod, or follow the Facebook page at facebook.com slash braincancerpodcast. You can always email me at braincancerpodcast at gmail.com with any questions, thoughts, concerns, ideas. If you want to come on the show, just let me know. But feel free to reach out to me for anything that you need, and I will be sure to get back to you. It doesn't matter if it's related to the show or not. You can always reach out to me. So thank you so much for listening, everybody. I hope you stay safe, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.